Nepal is a landlocked least developed country located in South Asia covering a total area of 147,181 square kilometers. The country has a total population of 26.49 million. Its altitude ranges from 70 meter above sea level in the southeastern Tarai to 8,848 meter at the summit of Mount Everest. The country is spread over three ecological regions. Mountains with 6.73% of population. Hills 43%. And the plains of Tarai where 50.27% of total population live. Out of the total population, 83% live in rural areas. Total number of households in the country is nearly five and a half million. Nepal is rich in terms of natural resources, especially renewable energy resources such as hydropower, solar energy and biomass energy. However, the energy derived from traditional biomass remains to be the primary source of energy in the country. The traditional sources like fuel wood, animal dung and agriculture residue contribute 87.1% of country's total energy consumption. Whereas the contribution from commercial sources like petroleum products, electricity and coal contribute 12.2% and renewable like biogas, microhydro and solar remains at 0.7% only. There are no proven fossil fuel deposits available in the country. 100% of the petroleum products are imported. The country is currently facing long hours of power cut, up to 14 hours a day, due to inadequate electricity generation. Alternative Energy Promotion Centre is the focal agency of the Government of Nepal for the promotion and development of renewable energy technologies in the country. Since its establishment in 1996, it has been promoting various renewable technologies like micro or mini hydro, solar energy, biogas, improved cooking stoves, wind energy, etc. AAPC works as executing agency for a number of programs in the rural energy sector, supported by various external development partners. On 20th January 2013, while inaugurating the Renewable Energy Week 2013, Right Honourable Prime Minister of Nepal, Dr. Baburam Bhatrai, announced an ambitious mission, Clean Cooking Solutions for All by 2017 thereby ensuring indoor air pollution-free Nepal. He has also invited all the government agencies, external development partners and all concerned stakeholders to support this mission and make it a grand success. Nearly one in five people around the world do not have access to modern energy services. About 40% of the world's population, nearly 3 billion people, mainly in the developing world, relies on wood, coal, charcoal or animal waste to cook their food, breathing in toxic smoke that causes lung disease and kills nearly 2 million people a year, most of them women and children. WHO's report ranks indoor air pollution IAP as the fourth main cause of deaths in poor countries like Nepal. Recent reports show that IAP alone has been responsible for 4 million deaths all over the world every year. The report also ranks IAP as the number one health risk factor in South Asia. A number of global initiatives intend to support for modern energy access thereby also contributing in improving the quality of indoor air and hence achieving better health and better quality of life. Sustainable Energy for All, an initiative launched by the UN Secretary General. 
the International Energy and Climate Initiative Energy Plus launched by the Government of Norway. Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves, led by the United Nations Foundation, aims to provide clean stoves in 100 million households by 2020. The Energy for All Partnership, formed by the ADB, has a goal of providing energy access to 100 million people in Asia and the Pacific region by 2015. Traditional sources like fuel wood, animal dung and agriculture residue contribute 87.1% of Nepal's total energy consumption. About 75% of total households still use solid biomass as their most usual type of fuel and the stoves are mostly traditional ones. A study conducted in Nepal reports more than 7,500 deaths annually due to IAP levels in rural Nepalese kitchens. Sufferers of IAP-borne diseases like acute respiratory infections, asthma, cancer and eye infections are in thousands. Traditional stoves consume excessive firewood which has not only taken heavy toll on Nepal's precious forest resources but also has badly added to the daily workload of rural women. Women and children are the main victims. Clean cooking solutions, available options. Improved cooking stove. It's an improvisation gained over age-old traditional stove. It is simple yet very effective in terms of saving fuel, cooking time reduction and renders smokeless environment. Improved cooking stove models disseminated by AEPC have contributed in lowering the levels of IAP. Fuel saving by more than 43% and visible reduction in cooking time are other two major impacts. Biogas. Biogas has been replacing the solid biomass fuel and complements with ICS. Solar cookers and electric cooking. These are alternative cooking technology options in specific regions like trekking routes. Progress so far and scope of intervention. With support from the Government of Nepal and various development partners, AEPC has been able to successfully disseminate more than 280,000 biogas plants, 600 solar cooker and above 650,000 improved cooking stoves. More than 3 million households of the country qualify for improved cooking stoves only and they have no access to other cleaner technologies in terms of purchasing power in particular and technological availability in general. Approaches for CCS 2017 in order to achieve the goal of CCS 2017, AEPC will follow the following approaches. Joint multi-stakeholder coordination platform, dedicated unit within AEPC, monitoring against national baseline, targeted capacity building for service delivery, active engagement of local bodies, private sector, development partners and stakeholders, national coordinated localized campaign, clustered approach, commitment of partners for conceptualization and implementation. Major impact and benefits. ICS has the potential of reducing fuel wood demand by 43.7%. ICS can save time 0.65 hours per day on an average for cooking and fuel wood collection activities. ICS can save time during washing pots, pans and clothes, which is directly related to the black suit generation while cooking. ICS can reduce the requirement of unpaid female labor by at least 22.1 rupees per day per female. ICS has been successful in reducing IAP levels 65.73% of PM, 2.5 and 62.34% for carbon monoxide which are responsible for major causes for IAP related diseases drastic reduction in eye irritation and headache. 
improves child growth in fetus and hence reduces premature birth, reduces child pneumonia and chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases. Emission reduction per ICS is 1.85 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent.